In health news daily, people all around West Michigan and the world feel like they are suffocating. It's due to a condition known as COPD with emphysema. So what is that and how can Metro Health's insertion of a new airway valve help? Joining me this morning is Medical Director Dr. Ghali and Director of Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine, Alex Gass. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Sure. Yes, I know people that struggle with this, but what is COPD with emphysema? So COPD is actually an umbrella term. Um, many people know it as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, uh, it, it actually has several different progressive uh, lung diseases uh, under that umbrella, okay. uh, one of which is emphysema. Sure. So emphysema actually has uh, chronic inflammation caused by uh, repeated uh, smoking or other uh, inhaled toxins. Um, that chronic um, inflammation actually will lead to uh, tissue damage and tissue breakdown and ultimately uh, parts of the lungs will start to retain or uh, do air trap, uh -huh. uh, air trapping, which we call hyperinflation. Okay. And that's problematic for a lot of people with emphysema because it leads to severe shortness of breath. Sure. And that shortness of breath, um, they see it a lot of times uh, in their basic um, activities of daily living like um, walking the dog, um, washing dishes, uh, things like that that you and I take for granted, they really struggle with. Yeah, I mean, something just as simple as washing the dishes and they're winded. Wow. Absolutely. All right, well, how do you go about treating it then? So treatment, basically, we want to break this vicious circle which start happening to this patient population. Unfortunately, they get breathlessness with minimal exertion, and they get, they're shying away from doing exercise, getting more deconditioned, and the circle case comes, go, goes around. Mm -hmm. So to break this circle, there are the medical management, which first uh, goes without saying, mm -hmm. patients should stop the habit of smoking. Okay. Then there is the use of uh, bronchodilators, just as the, known as the puffers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the patient will benefit from giving them supplemental oxygen or even going into pulmonary rehabilitation programs. Okay. And on the other extreme patients who have a very bad emphysema, some of them are candidate to surgical procedures like uh, going for surgery where the, the surgeon will go into the chest wall taking part of the diseased lobe out, okay. giving room for the healthy lung. And, and the more extreme part there is the lung transplantation. All right, but there's a new airway valve that was recently approved by the FDA. If you want to go ahead and talk about that, Metro Health has that. Correct. So this is an innovative, minimally invasive procedure where it was just uh, finally approved by the FDA a couple of months ago. It's basically taking the benefit of two words. A, it's minimally invasive, so the patient doesn't have to go for surgery, but they are getting the benefit of uh, the surgical approach. Okay. It basically entails, as we see here, is uh, go with the bronchoscope, that's a tube with a camera at the tip, and there we go into the uh, diseased lobe, where we put an airway valve just like it's shown here. These valves will prevent air from coming into the lung and at the same time getting the air inside the lobe and the secretions out. Eventually this lobe will collapse and giving room for the healthier lobe to expand and at the same time improve the breathing mechanics. Wow, that's really something. So what can someone expect after a procedure? And they, people always want to know how long it's going to take for me to recover from something like this. So based on elegant and repeated med medical studies, it has been shown with a solid repeatability that patients will have improved pulmonary functions, increased exercise capacity, and improved life perfor general performance. And even in some studies, it has been proven that there is a signal that it might improve mortality. Wow, that's fantastic. So this is something you would consider before you had to look at the whole transplant issue. You would try all these other things before it actually got to that point. Correct, yes. All right. It's great to have those options out there. If someone is watching at home right now and they're saying, you know what, I need to give this a try or learn more about this, how can they go about contacting you all or learning more about this? So we always recommend that, um, that people go to their primary care physician mm -hmm. or their lung doctor to start that conversation. Okay. Uh, and if other people wanted to um, learn more about lung diseases or our treatments for those lung diseases, uh, they can um, uh, search us, um, Metro Health University of Michigan Health online, or call our office and they can speak to uh, one of our specialists. Fantastic. Okay, so once again, for more information, visit MetroHealth.net. You can also follow them on Twitter and on Facebook. Thanks so much for stopping by and giving us that great information this morning. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having sure, us. Sure, our pleasure.